I think Clay.com just released one of the craziest AI features. This is gonna be super useful for anyone sending quote emails, building lead lists, or doing any type of outbound sales or any go-to-market type of workflows. And so I just wanna jump straight in because I'm super excited to talk about this. Clay, over the weekend or over the last week at their Sculpt event, which is like their live in-person event, which I was just at, they just announced a bunch of new features that came to their platform, like website visitors, like audiences, and all kinds of other features I could talk about in separate videos and you could go find on their LinkedIn. But one of the cool coolest ones, and I think the most game-changing one that they announced is this new feature called Sculptor. Essentially what Sculptor is, in Clay's own words, an AI co-pilot that eliminates all the execution bottlenecks. So instead of having to build Clay tables manually, which anyone just getting into outbound, anyone just getting into Clay knows that yeah, that's a really complicated process, very tedious, takes time and effort. You can just use AI and prompt it natively in their platform to build lead lists, to help you write AI personalizations, to help you build and structure data at scale so that you can run it in outbound campaigns campaigns, connect it with your CRM, or do all kinds of different things. I don't want to just talk about it and look at the screenshot. I want to jump into Clay and show you what I'm talking about and why I think it's so powerful. Now, if you make a Clay account or jump into Clay, if you don't have a Clay account, you can check my affiliate link below. It gives you some free credits if you're signing up for a paid plan. Anyways, so now that you're over here and inside Clay, you can see it even suggests a couple things and it's like front and center inside the platform because it's so powerful. So let's say for example, I want to build a lead list from scratch, which is very common if you're trying to run any sort of outbound lead generation generation campaign. And so let's start there. And so you can click in here. I'm just going to prompt it totally from scratch. So I'm just going to say, I'm not even going to give it something that's easy. I'm going to give it something that's a little bit more complicated to show you an example. I want you to build me a lead list of CEOs, companies that sell, I'm going to do phone cases because this is kind of like a harder thing to find that sell phone cases in the US. So I'm just going to leave it really broad and see how it does here to start. So I'm going to press run and AI is going to do its thing, process what I'm saying, and then hopefully ask me some clarifying questions back here. So you can see here, it asks some additional clarifying questions to make sure we're not wasting any credits here. So uh, it's asking to make sure we get the right leads. Can you clarify what company size you're looking for? Any extra details? So I'm just going to say all company sizes and no extra details for now. I'm going to do some of the extra details here in a second to just fully demonstrate what the platform does. But anyways, you can see here, it goes straight to work. It's building a lead list based on the data that I gave it. This is kind of like a complicated thing. Companies that sell phone cases is not just like a big filter range here. And I'm sure by no means is it going to be perfect on its first try. But let's just jump in here and you can see I've configured lead list to target CEOs of all company sizes. You can see a preview. You can press continue if you want to move forward with this. And I'm just going to press in the filter section here to see what it built. And you can see it went ahead. It built some company attributes. Now, again, would I say by any means that this is perfect and something that I should press go on? Definitely not. But is this a really good start? For sure. It has description keywords like phone case, phone cases, mobile case, a cell phone case, smartphone case, device device case protective use. These are all kinds of different keywords that would be relevant and something I can use from. So for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to move on, but I'm sure I could go back and forth and prompt it and have it layer in different industries and do all kinds of other stuff here. So I'm going to press continue and I'm going to have it scrape this 452 people or so that we found here. The next thing you can do here is you can see it prompts you to add enrichment. So if I want to continue along here, one thing that most people want to do whenever they get this data is that they want to get work emails. So they want to get other additional data. So I can go over here and press save and run 10 rows. It gives you some really easy prompts and stuff here that I can get someone's work email. I can enrich the person with more data. And so you can see here, it already started filling in some of these details here, like grabbing their emails, like enriching the person's information. So again, this kind of makes it a lot simpler to do instead of just building everything from scratch. I already have a list of the people. I have summaries of their LinkedIn's and then I also have their work emails. You can see here, we grabbed all of their work emails. And so now you don't have to stop here. I could run this whole workflow for 500 or so people if I want to continue on, but I'm just going to show you another little snippet of other simple things you can do here because it's not just limited to grabbing people's emails and building the tables. You can also have it make more complex prompts and manipulate the data. So now that I get the data, I want to validate that the people I'm reaching out to actually work at companies that sell phone cases. So what am I going to do? I'm going to ask Clay's sculptor feature here to help me build a prompt that I can go through and make sure that all these leads actually work at companies that sell phone cases. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say, I want want you to help me build an AI prompt to see if these leads actually work at companies that sell phone cases using Clayton, which is another Clay feature. Please help me put together the prompt and enrichment. Okay. I'm doing this on the fly, so I don't know how well this will work, but we'll let it process a little bit and see what it comes up with. Because again, even if you're coming at this from a more beginner level perspective, this will at least teach you how to use a different 
different features inside of clay show you how you can kind of build stuff from scratch if you've never done it before or if you're coming from a more advanced level you can at least build the initial frameworks and drafts and then come in here and tweak it yourself in either case this feature which i'm demonstrating right now the really cool thing is that this was released like a week ago or not even a week ago just a few days ago and the fact that it is working right now in the condition that it's in is awesome and i'm super excited to see what it looks like in the coming days weeks and months you can see here it's processing the stuff i just told you you can see i tried showing more it looks like it's still processing but it's going to build this nice long prompt for me that i can input instead of having to manually write it from scratch here perfect i've created a collagen ai column that will verify if each company sells phone cases here's what's going to do i'm just going to press setup column i'm not even going to read through it just so we can see how it looks here you can see here popped up the collagen which is the proper enrichment to use here it's like the web scraper and you can see it put this really detailed prompt together here i'm just going to read some of it you're a ai powered web researcher using clay navigator here's your objective here's the domain see if they sell phone cases mobile cases smartphone cases here's your instructions and then you can just press save and run i'm gonna press save and run just to show you what this looks like and again if i were to run this myself would i be using the most expensive six credit model here probably not would i probably be using one of my own ai keys so i can save costs here for sure but again for anyone just getting into this this is just a good demonstration of the type of stuff you can do inside here and not only this i'm gonna let this run but the last thing that i want to talk about too with the sculptor feature is you don't have to build tables from scratch you can go into existing tables like i could collapse this and there's a button here in the top right where i'm going to actually just click out of this you can see chat with sculptor so even if you're building clay tables starting from whatever place you want to let's say you upload your own lead list you can continually prompt it and kind of manipulate the platform now using ai which will make things way easier and so you can see hey this is a law firm site again when i was kind of skimming through these it looks like some of the leads that got us to start here weren't amazing but i can let this run again just to prove the point i'm sure there could be some better stuff done on the scraping side this is just like a version one so anyways that's clay's new sculpture feature i'm super excited to play around with this i'd highly encourage if you're using clay or if you're considering using clay to check it out it's probably gonna make your life a whole lot easier and if you're looking for someone to help you with cold outreach like myself to set up some of the stuff i'm talking about in this video you can check the first link in the description below apply to work with us we send cold emails at scale and so we use clay a lot or if you just want a bunch more free content on outbound sales sales automation everything ai and sales related you can check out the other videos on this channel really appreciate you watching this video and take care